So the question is, Gwen, how can I tighten my vagina? This is the question that I have gotten from more than 80% of my audience, of my followers or of those who have watched my videos. I've done a video on loose vagina. I've done videos on vagina tightening, vagina dryness. And there are many women from around the globe, from different cultures, different traditions who are so interested in tightening the vagina. So I took some time to actually get some information for you, some information that will help you. So come along with me. So if you just stumbled on this channel, you are new and you're just watching this video, subscribe, like and share and turn on the notification bell. And if you're a returning subscriber, please don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. And thank you for your love. Thank you for your loyalty. Mwah. Let's roll in. Welcome back. Into this class, I'm going to be teaching you four ways to tighten your vagina. Four ways that works. Now, the first is oestrogen therapy, hormonal replacement therapy. And this is particularly for women who are experiencing premenopause and menopause. Premenopause starts in some women right from the age of 35 years of age, some 34. So you have to know your body and you have to know the signs of menopause. And bear in mind, menopause or premenopause signs vary from woman to woman. So what happens during premenopause or menopause? The oestrogen levels in a woman's body drops. And this hormone is responsible for sexual activities. So when it drops, the vaginal walls become very thin. And when it becomes thin, it's not as moist as it used to be. It's not as juicy as it used to be. So what this oestrogen therapy is going to do is you're going to receive some oestrogen shots into your blood and it's going to boost this action in your body where the walls of your vagina are going to thicken up it's going to become more moist and more juicy just the way it used to be now when the walls of the vagina becomes thicker or just the way it used to be what happens is your vagina is going to feel tightened because when it thickens, that means that there's going to be more sensation while you're having intercourse with your spouse. There's going to be more pleasure while you're having intercourse with your spouse. So do go to the clinic, do meet your gynecologist to find out if you're experiencing premenopause. There may be nothing wrong with your vagina, but you may just have started premenopause much earlier than other women at your age or women in your community every woman is different the second point is laser vagina rejuvenation it's a non-surgical procedure so what happens this actually promotes the growth of new collagen structures that actually strengthens firms and plumps up the vagina walls and when your vagina walls are plumped up your vagina actually feels tighter or gets back into shape. So this laser procedure is so amazing because it actually helps to lubricate the vagina as well. Your vagina goes back to normal. And this is for women, whether you're in premenopause or whether you are in menopause, you should try this. It's also very good. The third point is pelvic floor exercises. And these exercises involve the muscles of the bowel, the muscles of the womb or uterus, and the muscles of the bladder. Now, the first exercise is swimming. Swimming is amazing. This actually makes the walls of the vagina to thicken, to become firm, and also become plumpy. So this is very important. The second kind of exercise you can do is Kegel exercises. The Kegel exercise is also so amazing. But make sure that while you're doing the Kegel exercises, you are doing it in the right posture. I will do another video to explain to you how to do the Kegel exercise. 
The third type of exercises you're supposed to be doing are the abdominal exercises, the lower body exercises, the lower abdominal exercises. And it should, it should include squats and lounges. This actually works the pelvic floor muscles. And this also has a great impact on the vaginal walls. Now, the fourth way in which you can tighten your vagina is through surgery, vaginoplasty. This surgery is good, but it is only good for women who are not prone to keloids, who have some good money to spend, and thirdly, who are no longer interested in having kids. If you are prone to keloids, what's going to happen is you may end up having scarring in your vagina wall. And this is going to make sex so unpleasurable. And not only that, if the procedure is not well done, you can end up messing up the walls of your vagina and never being able to have good sex or pleasurable sex again. So it's important that if you want to do this surgery, make sure that it's a good doctor, make sure that all the right tests are done, make sure that that practitioner has the antecedents of good results, that you have met patients who have done it and they are experiencing pleasurable sex. In all these four points I have given to you on how to tighten your vagina, it is very important that your diet should matter. Your diet. Make sure you eat enough fish. Make sure you take enough citrus fruits, vitamin C, pineapples, oranges, you know, mandarins, fruits that contain vitamin C. And also you take a lot of fish. This is going to help to build new collagen structures to firm and strengthen and plump up the walls of your vagina while you go through these four ways I have given you. It's going to help you a lot because these vitamin C and collagen or fish collagen or fish I have mentioned or products that I can boost up uh, the production of collagen in your body has a way of working your vaginal walls as well. Remember that your vaginal walls are made up of muscle and so your muscle needs nutrients. It needs the right nutrients to be able to plump up, be firm, be strengthened. So thank you very much for joining me into this class. I hope I've been able to help so many ladies around the world. I'm always here for you. Your reproductive health, your sexual health is my responsibility and I don't take it lightly. Thank you for all your questions in my inbox, by mails, in the comment section because many ladies want to enjoy sex. And you know, it's, it's something that you cannot say it's not important because we women go through a lot in our lifetime a lot there are many women who are not able to have an orgasm there are many women who are not able to have vaginal orgasm who are not interested in giving them good sex making sure they have an orgasm so i understand as a female when another lady is interested in enjoying what she's supposed to be enjoying you know and it's beautiful what the lord has given us as a gift because good sex is a gift god bless you till next time Mwah.